The most important thing, from my perspective, is for people to stop thinking about water as um, separate. You know, we think about coastal issues, or we think about river issues, or lake issues, groundwater issues, but we never really think about the fact that the life cycle on this planet is driven by the water cycle, and that we are all very much downstream from one another, and that um, everything that we put into our rivers doesn't just stop when the river goes into the ocean, it continues into the ocean. And from there, it's spread and distributed anywhere and everywhere. Um, I would like people to take that idea home because it does, it, it's just another way that every action that any one person takes impacts the lives of unknown people around the world. And that's important to understand. We invest a lot of time and a lot of effort into a lot of things in our lives. Um, we work hard so that we can advance our careers. Um, we save money and sacrifice so that we can go on vacation or retire or send a child to university. Um, we, we work hard at our relationships so that they can be fruitful and happy and, and and long-lasting. And we generally don't put any time or very little time into helping to ensure that the natural resources upon which our society has been built, um, that has generated our wealth and our health and our well-being, continues to exist in a way that it can support our lives. And in order to have a meaningful impact on resource conservation, like water or air that we need for our survival, it takes very little effort. And yet most people don't put nearly as much effort into that as they do for other things that they aren't getting as much benefit from. If we can help people understand that recycling, um, maybe downsizing a car, um, or taking more public transportation, um, offsetting carbon emissions, conserving water. Those are easy things. Eating locally grown food and supporting local small farmers and you know, trying to eat as much organic food, that's not a sacrifice. That's an investment in your own health and in the health of your community. So if we start to think about going green as making a very real investment in the quality of our life, the quality of our community, and the quality of our children's lives that may be just as important as ensuring that they have an education. Um, I think it won't, it, it will just shift the perception of what it means to be green and that it's not something about, you know, that hippies do or tree huggers do or, um, you know, it's, it's, I'm very much an environmentalist, I'm not a hippie. Um, but I'm, I'm very much an environmentalist because I have, I have seen what's happening. Um, I have stood at the edge of our frozen world and seen the most extraordinary things that probably won't exist if I wanted to take my child there one day. Mm -hmm. I have um, been underwater with whales and dolphins and manta rays and some of the most extraordinary creatures on the face of the planet, knowing that within five to ten years some of those species may be extinct. Mm -hmm. um, and I have seen pristine rivers flow through a, through a town and come out on the other side as bubbling black tar. Uh, and I've also seen the impact on communities whose health has declined, whose opportunities have declined, and whose natural environment has become so degraded to the point that it can't be productive for that society to thrive. And from that perspective, I do believe that each and every person 
is an environmentalist, whether they realize it or not, whether they want to have that title, um, they are. Because without water, without air, without food, we can't survive. And we are living in a world today where those are in danger. And anyone who tells me that they're not an environmentalist is deluding themselves. Because without, without these things, they can't, they can't live. And hopefully, increasingly, we will realize that we share that, that it's not a special interest movement. And, um, and that we can work together to protect these very simple life support systems. That's an interesting question. I believe that water is a human right. And I believe that um, globally, we have a responsibility as a global community to ensure that every single individual on this planet has access to clean, fresh water for um, the, the daily rituals of life. And in different countries, there are different ways of making that um, a practical reality. I don't. I don't think that um, any one interest should be able to control people's access to the water they need to live. Mm -hmm. But I do believe in multi-stakeholder solutions and that, um, that we need to find ways for governments, for civil society, for corporations um, and individuals um, to work together to make sure that we find the best, most cost-effective solutions.